Today we're sitting down and we're gonna talk a little bit about some of the head options that we offer here that can be kitted with our phone mounts. On the least costly side, we have our standard magnetic mount. It comes in a pretty nice package. You open it up here and inside it comes with a couple things. You're gonna get a round and a rectangular sticky backed piece of steel. You're gonna get one of our handy little course stickers for your refrigerator or your toolbox. It has a QR code that'll take you to our website just to help you get to where the, the installation videos are. You, inside here, you got your magnetic head, your standard magnetic head. It's gonna come with a 17 millimeter aluminum ball. And this is our new style ball. Uh, this is gonna be across the board now. Um, it's got texture to it, which really will help. Uh, it also comes with an Allen wrench, which you use to tighten the ball down to whatever direct fit bracket you, you end up choosing. Uh, so basically the way that this one works here is we'll just grab a hold of one of these guys. So you have your steel pad. We're gonna take, a, take the sticky or the paper off of the sticky. Rectangular or circular is entirely your preference. They both are about the same size. So you'll stick this right in the middle here, just like so. You would put the locking collar over the ball on your direct fit mount, tighten your head option down, and there you go. It just holds it in place. And when you want to take your phone off, you take it back off. This is for non-wireless charging. So if you want to be able to wireless charge or if you have a MagSafe equipped device or even a MagSafe equipped case on your phone, this next option is our MagSafe magnetic. Same kind of a nice box. You open it up. Inside this one, you're gonna have a steel ring. This would be for if you don't have a MagSafe equipped device or case, you'd need to use the, the alcohol pad to clean it off to put that on. You're also gonna have a course motorsports sticker and a QR code on the back of that that takes you to our website so you can find the installation videos a little easier. Um, just like the standard magnetic, we have the same black anodized textured ball. You also have an Allen wrench to tighten that ball to your pet or your direct fit bracket, and then you'll have our MagSafe magnetic head. Same kind of deal. You have a locking collar on the back. You put that over the ball once you've installed that on your direct fit mount. And then in this case, this is a MagSafe phone and a MagSafe case, so we don't have to do anything. We just put it on there, and it stays on. So next we have our. MagSafe charging version. Again, we've got nice packaging. We'll open this up. Inside, you're gonna have your MagSafe charging head, QC 3.0 12 volt adapter, USB-A to USB-C cable. 12 volt adapter should be used to power this for proper charging. Inside here, we're also gonna have a sticky back steel ring like the non-charging version where you would apply it to the back of your phone or case uh, if you don't have a MagSafe device or case. There are a lot of MagSafe cases for non-MagSafe devices, uh, but if you don't have any of that, this allows you to apply your device to this charger. Um, it's a ring because it mates up with the halo of magnets inside of the charging head and it encircles the charging coil in your phone and allows you to still wireless charge. There's also a user's manual in here. Basically what you're going to look at here is you're going to take your USB-C, you're going to plug it into the bottom. It's going to illuminate. It'll go like a light blue then it should turn green. It should be steady green. That means ready. Um, unfortunately I can't really show you because this is a dummy phone but same concept as the non-charging version. Actually, this is a really good thing to see. 
it's blinking because it does not see the charging coil. So it's telling us that we have a foreign object being detected. This would happen if you misaligned the steel ring or if you had like a metal case on your phone because you cannot wireless charge through metal. This was not a dummy phone. This would go a solid dark blue color and that's how you would know that it's charging. Then when you remove your device, it goes back to green, stating that it's ready. Next on the list, we're gonna talk about some of the cradles that we have. So, first option is going to be our lowest price. Really handy, same thing, nice packaging. We're gonna open that up. And inside, you're gonna have a non-charging manual cradle. Now this has quite a bit of adjustability here. You've got the same center mounted uh, ball socket that fits the same 17 millimeter ball, which you will receive separately from this box. Um, you have a, a height adjustment, so it can fit an array of different phones. There's a button in the center in the back, and you just push it, and it opens up. So if you just drop it in there, just like that, hold the grate. When you want to release it, just push that button and it opens up. So the arms open up to about 3.7 inches. If you want to go a little bit nicer with your cradle, we have two versions of a automatic gripping charging cradle. Again, we have some pretty nice packaging. We'll open it up, see what's inside here. There's a user's manual, shows you how to use it. It's gonna have a charging cradle. You'll also have a USB-A to C cable, USB-C into the charger, USB-A into the 12 volt QC 3.0 adapter. The adapter needs to be used for this to work properly. We have two colors to choose from, a black or a tan leather, both pretty nice. Um, you have a manual foot adjustment for height that helps you to align the coil inside your phone with the coil inside the charger for optimum charging. Um, so same as the MagSafe, we're going to plug the USB-C into the bottom. It's going to blink a little bit and it's going to go to a ready state, which is the jaws opening up. This has a worm gear in it, so the jaws or the arms are very strong, so they'll hold your phone really well, but you also can't move them without it being powered up. And you open and close them by depressing one of the buttons on either side. Um, so this is a dummy phone. If it wasn't a dummy phone, you would just simply put your phone into the charger. It would sense the charging coil and automatically close. Since it's a dummy phone, I'm telling it to close with the button. You at any time could always open and close it using those buttons. This charger has a breathing effect and it would go to a green while it was charging. But again, this is a dummy phone, so it's not gonna work that way. Um, it also has a really cool feature. It has a capacitor inside. So if your phone was on and you were to shut your car off and you lose power, it should, because it's sensing a phone on there, have a beep that happens, which is alerting you that you have about 30 seconds to depress the button before you have uh, you lose power. So as you can see, it's no longer plugged in and we can still open and close the jaws, which is pretty cool.